Europe's skies are busy. In the last 10 years, traffic has grown by more than 20%, with 8.5 million flights per year and 28,000 flights on the busiest days. The challenge is to make sure that the risk of incidents does not increase at the same rate as traffic growth. For more than 40 years, Eurocontrol has been dedicated to safety in the air. Originally created to establish a single upper airspace in its six founding member states, Eurocontrol is now the principal architect and manager of the European Air Traffic Management System. Very early on, the founders of Eurocontrol recognized the benefits of setting up international air traffic control centers in European upper airspace. Founded in 1972, Eurocontrol's Maastricht Center provides round-the-clock air traffic control services to aircraft flying in the upper airspace of Belgium, the Netherlands, Luxembourg and northwestern Germany. It is the busiest upper area control center in Europe. 200 controllers of 24 different nationalities handle over 1.2 million flights a year. Today, the Eurocontrol Centre is still the only multinational air traffic control centre in Europe. Maastricht shows how well complex airspace can be managed as one functional block. Without the constraint of national borders, traffic can be handled safely, smoothly and efficiently. This is done in close cooperation with military partners of the Benelux countries and Germany. Here at Maastricht, civil and military aircraft in northwestern Germany are handled together. Eurocontrol and the local DFS unit, co-located at the centre, share responsibility for the provision of air traffic services for general and operational air traffic. The single European Sky Initiative calls for more such functional blocks of airspace. On the 8th of October 2002, the European Commission took the first formal step to becoming a member of Eurocontrol. The two organisations will now work together with the aim of creating one sky for the entire European continent. The technological challenges of providing air traffic control services to both civil and military aircraft are considerable, but Maastricht has always been at the forefront of development. Since its inception, it has been a showcase for the very latest and most powerful equipment. The Maastricht Centre has adopted a dynamic view of the future and has introduced a series of innovative technologies. These will not only enhance safety, but will increase airspace capacity and enable the centre to accommodate future concepts. One of the most important tools that a controller uses is his screen and data entry panels known as Operator Input and Display System, or ODS. On average, an ODS has a lifespan of 15 to 20 years. The system formerly used in Maastricht was brought into service in 1981. Since then, both traffic levels and technology have changed a great deal. The controller's tools had to be brought into line. This was the old ODS. It was a very good uh, system in its times, but um, of course with the technology advancing, we needed um, a system which is 
which can offer better uh, technical facilities. As we can see here, the, the screens are monochrome, so we cannot really distinguish between um, different traffics. We only can distinguish between bright and less bright. The, um, the inputs have to be done from a different position than the screen, so the controllers, we need to, uh, to take our eyes away from the screen. All the information is spread in, in, uh, on different screens and um, having panels like, uh, like this panel here, for example, puts, puts a limitation to the inputs we can make. Well, one of the major uh, differences between uh, here and the old ops room is that here we have the ability of uh, displaying traffic in different colors so that we can uh, discriminate between the ones which are on our frequency in our sector and the others. Another advantage of uh, the system is in fact that all the information is available on the main screen so that we as controllers we do not need to look away from the traffic to get the information we need. So um, the, uh, the system works um, on a similar system to, to a normal Windows in a computer. Everything is available at a click of a mouse. Once we click, uh, we get different windows and uh, which would display different things. In fact, this is um, a system which was designed by controllers for controllers so that our life is made easier with a system which is more user-friendly. On the 2nd of November 2002, at 1945 Universal Time, the Maastricht Centre switched to using the new system, a move that followed on many months of patient testing, refining and developing. Good evening, Captain. Uh, my name is Arnold Vandenbroek. I am the director of the uh, Eurocontrol Maastricht UEC. Uh, Captain, I have the pleasure to announce you that we just moved into our brand new uh, operations room and it is a real pleasure to me to uh, extend to you, your crew and your passengers a very warm welcome in the Maastricht airspace. You are the first flight officially controlled from the new ops room. Okay, well, uh, dear Omlet, thank you very much and uh Let's hope uh, you have a very safe operation from your new operation room. Thank you, Captain, for these nice words. Uh, we, are, we are very proud of uh, this achievement, and I'm sure that uh, our new ATC system will serve our customers even better. In the meantime, I wish you a safe and pleasant flight to Amsterdam. Good evening. Thank you very much. Good evening. The Eurocontrol Agency is very proud that the Maastricht Center has moved into this new operations room. The ODS system is state-of-the-art and will provide controllers with the help they need to manage some of the most dense and complex airspace in the world. For the last 30 years, Maastricht has been central to the organization's mission. Today, with its new ODS, it is an excellent example of a functional block of airspace as Eurocontrol builds a safe and efficient single pan-European sky. Since the beginning, Eurocontrol's Maastricht Center has symbolized the most advanced thinking, serving as an example to be emulated throughout the continent of Europe. True to the political commitment made many years ago, the Eurocontrol Centre will continue to provide safe and efficient air traffic services in one of the busiest and most complex regions of the globe for the benefit of the air traveller.